Welcome back to Max Garage. As always, if you like what you see, hit the like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, so behind me is my 92 Dodge W250. Uh, it's got a Cummins, six-speed manual, all that fun stuff. And uh, unfortunately, it took an absolute ass-kicking at the hands of uh, Michigan's interstate system last night. I'm uh, hauling an empty trailer, which never helps. And uh, as a result, actually it bounced so hard it knocked the trailer plug out of the truck on the highway. Um, so I'm giving it a real good check over before I load this trailer up and head back the other direction. And as part of that, I noticed that I had a brake fluid leak now, which is always great. So I'll show you this. Um, I actually have parts missing, which I'm not sure with the lighting here, how well this is really going to show up, but I'll give it my best shot. So this bolt, and I'll show you when I put it back together, uh, holds some stuff that keeps this caliper from rocking around like crazy. You can see there's some witness marks where it's rubbed into the rim a little bit. And uh, the banjo fitting hit the knuckle and uh, started to leak. So I'm going to pop this loose, change it out. Well, I guess not change it out, just put a new one in there. Oh, please come out. Yeah, there we go. So I've tightened up this banjo. Um, not very much, but a little bit. Hopefully that's enough to make it leak. If not, I'm going to have to put a new bolt in it, bleed the brakes, and <sighs> fun stuff. But hopefully that'll be good enough to make it happen. So I just pull this bolt out. And I haven't seen anything else broken on the truck yet, but that doesn't mean it's not. There we go. So, I don't remember if I need that or not. Um, it comes with a new bolt. It's been quite a while since I've done this. I can't re quite remember which side the spring goes on. Oh, uh, let's see. I think the spring goes on the top. Yep. So, I'll pull the... Hopefully I can get it in here without taking the tire off. Okay, so the way this works is these pieces slide into the caliper, bracket, and hold the caliper up out of the way. So that's started in there now. And then what that screw does is just return or uh, retains that plate. So with that done. Now our caliper is not flopping around. It's solidly fixed. And hopefully that's the only repair I have to make after driving it. Okay. So that should be good. Now that that's up in place, I can get a wrench on this a little bit better. All right. Give that a little bit more of a turn. And uh, hopefully that's enough to stop the brake fluid leak and make this safe to tow a trailer back with. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, share, subscribe, like I said earlier. And I'll see you later.